Evening, YouTubers, or morning, depending on your perspective. I'd like to talk about chromosomes, human chromosomes, um, and one particular chromosome in particular. Now, chromosomes are groupings of DNA. They're sort of spun together and all twisty. Uh, it's a thing that looks like an X. Now, I'm not a biologist, um, so I'm going to try to explain this in, um, in as simple terms as I can figure. Um, now, in a chromosome, you have millions upon millions of genetic data. Um, and the rate of pairs. You know, those little letters, you know, they're stuck together. Yeah, those. Now, on the ends of chromosomes, you find something called a telomere. A telomere is like a cap. It's a buffer zone on the ends of a chromosome to protect it from copy error. Now, right beneath that uh, is an area called a pre-telomere area, where I guess things are slightly less same pattern over and over again, but it's still you know, distinct. And in the middle, you've got the um, centromere data, which you know is you know um, varies even among even in the same species. It's kind of what makes you you. Now, all the great apes, excluding humans, um, have 24 uh, pairs of chromosomes. Humans have 23. Now, it's been long assumed that chromosome 2 was a result of a fusion between two ancestral uh, chromosomes. Now, recently, with the mapping of the chimpanzee, cro uh, chimpanzee uh, genome, We've shown that there is extremely uh, good evidence for this. Now, this, and I don't know if you can be able to see this, but um, this is a graphical representation of human genome 2. Mm -hmm. There you go. Kind of like a Doctor Who scar. Um, now, uh, these would be the end. Now, this is a representation of the human chromosome 2 here, and these are two chimpanzee chromosomes. In particular, they're 2P and 2Q. Now, this is kind of hard to see, but right here, this area, right there, that's where they fuse together. Now, in a human, there are evidences of telomere and pre-telomere material where they should not be, which would be the end caps to these. You see that little dimply thing? Yeah, that's, that's the end of it here, this little piece. So, there you go. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Oh, and it's not just chimpanzees either. This is a human chimpanzee gorilla, I think, and orangutan. Now, obviously, you can tell that we're extremely alike uh, genetically, and that's, you know, we've known that for a while now. But to actually find, you know, evidence this strong, it's okay, this is where it fused together. We both came from, we all of them, we, uh, all of us apes, we came from some common ancestor, and there's your evidence. I mean, despite the overwhelming amount of evidence that existed uh, before, this is the icing on the cake, the brandy on the plum pudding. The anyway, so yeah, there you have it. Now, I am not a biologist, so if some biologist is watching this and thinking that I'm murdering it, please d uh, explain it better, because I'm just doing the best I can, you know. Um, so, don't take my forward for it, look it up, ask these people, I mean, it's, you know. As societies have learned more about ourselves and about the universe, our belief in invisible sky daddies, uh, has, you know, completely, has continuously declined. Um, I mean, it's... It's religion is a creation of man to explain things that he doesn't understand. 
And all you have to do is look at the history of religion to realize this. You know, it's pretty apparent. Um, yeah. Some creationists, of course, have argued that, oh, God did it that way. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, wh why would he bother to fuse these two chromosomes together to pop out humans and not the rest of them? Why, why would he even bother to make it look similar? You know, that's, that's ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, well, thank you uh, for your time. Uh, have a good one.